Hey everyone, this is Software Engineer K. Um, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Um, so for those of you who have been following, I have mentioned that I do um, follow cryptocurrencies. It's partly what got me into software engineering in the first place. And one that I've, project I've been following for quite a few years now, but um, I only recently got properly into it recently is NEO. Now, NEO, for those of you who don't know, um, it's gone by many names, AntShares, it's also been rebranded. Um, as Neo going on to um, Neo Free, which is going to be the new version of it uh, coming out. I believe Testnet is coming out in March and Mainnet will be out in uh, June. Now, um, Neo, um, a lot of traders, a lot of um, investors on YouTube, they tend to, you know, have mixed opinions on Neo. Some of them, they, you know, are very, very bullish on it. You know, they believe in the technology. Um, but I've always found it a bit weird that. Um, a lot of these people say that they believe in the technology a lot of them they don't really have much of a technical background when it comes to um, the te um, technology itself um, and I think it's fair that people who are interested in a project they hear from not only just um, you know traders and investors but they also hear from people who understand the technology who can give you a bit more insight into that um, because I feel like that's what we really need in the crypto space is um, more people who aren't just flashing you know their 100 percent 200 percent gains in a crypto and you know making it seem like it's going to be the next bitcoin but you know from a fundamental point of view what is it about the technology that makes it you know a good investment and just um how do you evaluate um if you don't have a, a technological background so um neo um what I have here is GitHub and this is um, open source. So normally any project that I found to be credible, um, all of their code is open source and Neo is no exception. So um, their co code is all on GitHub. And what's nice is um, when you go to GitHub, you can look up Neo, for example. And there's a couple of things that I like to do when I look at a project um, just to ensure that the project is legitimate. It's not a scam. And this is something that you can do even if you don't code yourself. It's very, very simple is to just look for the project's GitHub and go to um, where it has contributors. So um, normally a positive sign for me is when there's quite a lot of contributors um, that tells me that you know it's quite an active project and here you can see that you know there's contributors such as Eric Zhang um, what I normally like to do is I like to click into them and see you know just what other stuff they've been working on are they you know real people who have been working on other projects so here we have a uh, Shargon um, so you can see here that Shargon's made of 2,000 contributions his whole comet history is green so this tells me he's very very active in the uh, coding space and you can see like some of his other projects he's working on so if we just go back to the neo home page um another thing you can look at is um the um commits here and um this tells you just um oh actually these are commits from i believe eric zhang so he's the head engineer of neo um so he's definitely worth following on um twitter or anywhere else um but what else I tend to like to look at is if I go to um, pull requests. So what pull requests are is um, these are small code changes which um, haven't been added or deployed to sort of like the version that's in production. But they're features that should be added soon. Um, they might be closed or they might be open. So open ones are, you know, then still working on, um, you know, maybe small bugs, you know enhancements before they get merged into the main um, branch in production and then closed off so if we just have a look at closed so you can see that neo they've got 1372 closed features and just looking through you know 14 hours ago they added a new feature 15 hours ago they added a new feature and you can see that neo they've just been working around the clock and from here you can also go to milestones and some of you guys might be a bit more familiar with this um, so the milestones is how much progress they've made and you can see here 97% complete we're nearly there to neo free so neo free is coming and you know um, a lot of projects they make these promises they tend to get, tend to get delayed but you know 97% of the way there you know it is coming soon so again now uh, aspect I tend to look at is other pull requests you know the closed and open requests and if we just go back here um, so you can also see used by. So used by um, Neo normally they have like um, a package and 
other developers they can use neo code in their code maybe you know they want some neo functionality maybe they want you know um the number of transactions happening on a neo blockchain for their own um, project whatever it is and they can essentially just integrate that in so here we can just have a quick read of um you know neo's documentation so build that's um the current uh, version that's in production so that's all working fine they got the version number coverage is just um how much of their tests um have um tested the code so you know some of the code they've written might not have a test covering it but you know that's fine um you don't need 100 percent coverage you know i normally say like 85 percent is good enough and yeah you can just learn more about neo from here so um, when it comes to the technology neo it is similar to ethereum so it provides a platform where developers can essentially build um, decentralized applications, smart contracts, digital assets, all of that good stuff, similar to what Ethereum does. But there are a few main differences, and this is why um, Neo is hugely differentiated compared to competition. So one thing that sets it apart is, um, like I just showed you, um, is how many is how much. Um, they're working on the code how many updates they release because there are other kind of similar ones such as eos and lisk but the reason those never really did that well was because um the code doesn't tend to get updated very often um you know people kind of have to wait forever for you know some new feature and neo in itself um for developers so i know people who have developed on ethereum blockchain it uses a proprietary language called solidity now the problem with solidity is um for those who have worked with it it's uh, quite buggy um there's been problems with um project built using solidity on ethereum um there's this whole explosion of these binance smart chain um coins like you know uh, pancake swap um you know bait cake whatever um there have been exploits that have been pointed out by other youtubers on that so um neo fortunately it uses um it's written in c sharp so you can see here c sharp that's the language that i use but if you want to develop on the neo blockchain you don't have to just use c sharp you can use java you can use javascript you can use go so um literally neo has done something that a lot of developers have want wanted for a while um, a lot of developers they don't want to go off and learn solidity just for building something on ethereum's blockchain they want to use what they're comfortable with the tooling that they're comfortable with and neo addresses this they've also got custom toolkits which makes the development process a lot easier and all of this stuff is incredibly enticing for developers and personally i will i do see a lot of developers coming to neo's platform when neo 3 is out um i'm certainly interested in developing on the neo platform as well just because i'm a c-sharp developer and again um that goes on to the other point of um gas now gas um i made this call um last month i said you know when neo 3 comes out gas is going to blow up and partly because the market cap is so small uh, partly because there aren't that many um, tokens in circulation but gas i'm going to see the demand for it just only you know appreciate once neo freeze out so that again something else to look into um but yeah we're gonna end it there um this was just supposed to be a quick summary and why i'm bullish on neo and how you can kind of apply what i've shown you to valuating other cryptos so you know you can go to their github you can look at who's right who's in the project the contributors you can look at the pull request and you know um just kind of see what features they're working on you don't need to know how to code you can kind of just um look at the um pull request the commits and just read the uh, notes on there and that should give you enough information so that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching please do like and subscribe to support the content i wanted to bring you guys something a bit different something that's not the usual you know traders showing you charts saying you know the price is going to go here because it's retested this you know resistance blah 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 this is you know from a purely technological point of view um how you can evaluate neo and personally i am quite bullish on neo like i said and i've gotten a bit more involved in the project as time has gone on so um do apply it guys this will help you greatly with your due diligence and yeah thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one see ya